Hello, and thank you for joining us today for our virtual graduation. My name is Pam Van Sant, President of National Aviation Academy. I'd like to start by saying thank you to our graduates. Thank you for your flexibility and willingness to persevere while we found new ways and solutions to help you finish your education. I think we would all prefer to have this in person and under different circumstances, but it is an absolute pleasure and a privilege to be speaking before you today to congratulate you on this milestone achievement. Before I introduce our host today, I would like to say that graduation is a time of both reflection and anticipation for the next chapter in life. You may be surprised, but I actually remember my graduation. I won't tell you how long ago, but the 737 was already in service. I remember thinking what an accomplishment it was to study, do the work, pass the exams, to come this far. We may have some graduates here that feel that way today because as some of you know, we have a very challenging program and not everyone graduates. Our programs are 2,000 and 3,000 hours of academics. That's book work, projects, tests in which every hour must be completed and all academics pass successfully. So be very proud of them today, just as we are proud of them. And with that, I would like to introduce our host today, our Vice President of Education. Thank you, Pam, and good afternoon, everyone. My name is James Ives. I'm the Director of Education at National Aviation Academy. I will be your host today. As a member of the NAA team, graduations are particularly important to me. I know firsthand the hard work these students have put in and the possibilities that await them. It is my honor to host today's graduation. Finishing your education under any circumstances is an incredible achievement, but to be graduating through a pandemic is something altogether extraordinary. This is something you'll never forget. As you face challenges and celebrate successes in the future, remember this moment. Remember that you're capable of rising above and accomplishing your goals no matter what comes your way. Let me begin today's ceremony with introductions. Joining me today are dedicated instructors and NAA team members who each play significant roles in our students' educations. We take pride in recognizing the achievements of NAA students and are grateful for the opportunity to celebrate them today. In fact, we have a special message to thank those of you who have helped along the way. I present to you the student shout outs. My name is Sean Bopp. My name is Dimas Carvalho. Hi, my name is Rock Evenu. Gerard Francisco. Julio Fuentes, a.k.a. Common Sense. Luis Gonzalez. Ben Jasker. Aman Kaifa. Dean Kemmel. Alex Lara. Edwin Peguero. Benjamin Petty. Varun Ramru. Patrick Sabatina. Frank Velasquez. Hello, everyone. My name is Gentian Bendo. I would like to, to thank my family, my instructor, and my classmates. They helped me to, to finish to this program. I would just like to give a shout out to my wife for helping me get through this, my son, my family, my mom, my dad. It's been a long trip, especially with everything going on in between. But um, yeah, thank you guys. A uh, huge shout out to the school, the instructors. You guys are great. Definitely teach the curriculum pretty well. I like it. Uh, yeah, keep on moving on. I want to thank my mom, my dad. I want to thank all the cuffies. Uh, that's it. I would like to take the time to thank my mom, my brother, and my girlfriend, and all the um, instructors at NAA. Um, I'm excited about my graduation, and I can't wait to be in the field. I want to thank my mom, my family, for supporting me. I would like to thank my classmates, uh, Roberto Bo, um, teachers, and the school. Thank you. I would like to thank my family for all the support that I have through all this journey. Um, especially my girlfriend because she did everything she could to uh, help me out, even waking me up in the morning. Um, I would like to thank the class 319 for helping me studying and helping me understand the, the, the projects. And I will also, I will also have like to um, give thanks to my instructors for um, helping me understand. I'd like to thank my, uh, my parents, my wife, my daughter for uh, being supportive through all this whole process. They had to sacrifice a lot of time and, and uh, <laughs> finances <laughs> because just so I could go to school. I really, I really appreciate that. And uh, I'd like to thank my uh, instructors and my fellow classmates and uh, all the companies that uh, helped us uh, get through all this together. First and foremost, I would like to say thanks to my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And um, I would like to say thanks to my parents 
for being there for me throughout this process. And um, my lovely fiance, Rose Walker, who stood by my side throughout this process. My kids for being very, very understanding. And um, I would like to say a big thank you to um, the FAA for creating a Power 147 within the Code of Federal Aviation Regulations. Um, I would like to say thank you um, to Mr. James, Mr. James Ives, um, Director of Education, National Aviation Academy, and um, his team of, of support staffs. Um, I would also like to say a big thank you to my instructors who guided me throughout this process. Um, from term one, Mr. Jackson, Mr. Rivera. Um, term two, Mr. Berdenas. Term three, Mr. Cardosa. Um, term four, Mr. Berdet and Mr. Camol. Term five, Mr. Turner and Mr. Zivillis. Term six, Mr. Picararo and Mr. Gusman. You guys did a whole lot in preparing me to reach this far. And um, I would also like, like to say thank you to um, the executive members of the Student Council Association, National Aviation Academy, and um, prospective um, Student Council representatives. Um, not forgetting my classmates um, for sticking by my side throughout this process. And um, last but not the least, I would also like to say a big thank you to me for waking up, showing up on time, and paying attention. Thank you. I want to thank my wife, my mom, my dad, my kids, my classmates, especially my team. I look forward to seeing what all you guys do next, and keep me in touch. I want to thank my mom, my dad, my brothers, my sister, my girlfriend, we have coffees and 319. First of all, I would like to thank God for giving me the opportunity to come to NEA and get something done that I like uh, for my future. And I would also like to thank a few people for helping me and giving me the support in order for me to be here every day on time. I would like to thank, first of all, uh, my dad, uh, my mother, Natalie Ramirez, um, my brothers too. I would like to thank a couple of people out of my family who helped me to, uh, they did a lot of stuff in order for me to be here too. Their name is Dana Dulong, um, Michael Fiato and his wife, Gavi. And I will also, I would like to thank uh, Michael's friend, uh, his name is Gary. Now I'm gonna say everything in Spanish because Couple of, uh, some of those people didn't speak English so they can understand. Yo, mi nombre es Edwin Peguero. Yo quiero primeramente agradecer a Dios por darme la oportunidad de haber venido a NEA y hacer algo para mi futuro. Uh, también me gustaría agradecer a algunas personas que me, uh, gracias a ellos también he tenido la oportunidad de venir aquí. Algunas personas de mi iglesia, ellos saben quiénes son. También me gustaría agradecer a mi padre a Santo Peguero por haber creído en mí y darme también la oportunidad de haber venido aquí. Natalie Ramírez, a mis hermanos, también de manera muy especial a mi novia Lucero Arias por ayudarme con, también con todo el apoyo que me dio durante la trayectoria de la escuela. I would also like to thank my friend Gary Connolly for helping me with all the process in the school. If it wasn't for him, I wouldn't be here right now because he was the one also taking my phone calls anytime and the one who was in track of me in order for me to be here. So thank you, Gary. I uh, would like to thank my mother, my father, and my sisters, my classmates uh, for helping me get through this. I didn't know if I could do it, and I can, I did. Thank you. I would like to thank my mom, my dad, my family, all my classmates, and everybody who helped me make it through the school. I'd just like to thank my parents, uh, everyone from 319, uh, the administration for helping me along in this journey. Um, it's been a crazy ride, but thank you very much. 
I'm not gonna sit here and blow smoke. Uh, I got here myself with the help of absolutely nobody. Nobody in the class, none of the instructors, not my family, not my friends. Uh, I'm just kidding. Uh, thank you to the whole NAA staff for helping me along the way. Every instructor has helped me tremendously throughout this program. Wouldn't be here without my classmates, uh, and especially without my family and the support of my friends. So thank you guys uh, for making me successful. At this time, I'd like to recognize the graduating class. You'll notice our graduates are wearing honor cords, each with a different distinction. A red cord signifies power plant certification. A white cord recognizes airframe certification. A red, white, and black cord indicates student council membership. And a red, white, and blue cord honors military service. Wear your honors with pride. Today's graduates have completed National Aviation Academy's maintenance technology course. They have worked diligently for 2,000 hours over the course of 14 months. Some are going on to work in the industry as line maintenance technicians, heavy maintenance technicians, ride mechanics, and alternate power solution technicians. I would like to personally wish each of you good luck as you transition into your careers. I'm confident that you will do great things in the industry. You have proven yourselves to be valuable assets to the aviation community and are well prepared to keep the skies safe. You have each accomplished a tremendous milestone. You have completed the necessary training to test for and receive your Federal Aviation Administration certifications. The knowledge and experience that you have gained during your time at National Aviation Academy will serve as the foundation for your careers and we are grateful to have been at the start of your aviation journeys. Before we proceed with the commencement of certificates, I would like to welcome today's guest speaker, Instructor John Badanis. Today's a really important day for you. So, I want to say a few things. First of all, congratulations to all of you for your accomplishments. And welcome to the ranks of those charged with keeping the flying public safe. Third, I am proud of each and every one of you. Throughout your time here, you folks helped each other. As each of you progress in your careers, please pay it forward and continue to help others. The old saying, what goes around comes around. It's true. When you least expect it, you'll be helping such a big way, you wouldn't believe people care for you as much as they do. It's happened to me many times over. So that's why I'm here at National Aviation Academy. I'm paying it forward. Helping folks because I've been helped more times than I can count by others. Everything you do as a certified airframe power plant technician, be focused on keeping the aircraft safe. If you've worked on an aircraft for hours, days, weeks, or even months, there's nothing more rewarding than to see that airplane lift off the runway and soar into the air. You can pat yourselves on the back for a job well done. Because you know it's because of you that airplane's able to fly. I'll say it again. I am proud of each and every one of you. You bet your bottom boots you can take that to the bank. Keep them flying. Congratulations. Thank you, John. At this time, I'd like to introduce Kay White, who will present graduation certificates and specialized awards. Congratulations, graduates. Graduating Academic Honors, Magna Cum Laude. Also, Outstanding Attendance, Genshin Bendo. <laughs> Graduating Academic Honors, Cum Laude, Sean Bach. Demas Carvalho. <laughs> 
Rock Avenue. Gerard Francisco. Julio Fuentes. Graduating academic honors cum laude Outstanding attendance, Luis Gonzalez. <laughs> Graduating academic honors, magna cum laude, Benjamin Jasger. Graduating academic honors, magna cum laude, Arma Kefa. Graduating academic honors, magna cum laude, perfect attendance, Ian Kimmel. <laughs> Alexander Lara. Outstanding attendance, Edwin Piguero Almonte. <laughs> Benjamin Petty. Graduating academic honors cum laude, Varun Ramroop. <laughs> Graduating academic honors cum laude, Patrick Sabatino. <laughs> Frank Velasquez. National Aviation Academy has a very active and involved student council. Students volunteer their time to help improve the school and the experience for all of the student population, present and future. In recognition of their time and contributions to their fellow students, we present the following award. Serving as class representative, Edwin Figuero Almonte.
Serving as class representative, Patrick Sabatino. Serving as Treasurer, Benjamin Jasger. <laughs> Serving as Secretary, Arma Kefa. Serving as President, Ian Kimmel. <laughs> Teamwork is an integral part of being an AMT professional. Throughout the course of the program, the class had teams that would work together on projects and classroom academics. This class had the same team receive top technician for both the airframe and the PowerPoint section. At this time, we would recognize the top performing team, Ian Kimmel, Arma Kefa, Alexander Lara, and Genshin Bendo. Come on up. Our next award, the recipient is voted on by you, your classmates. The top technician plaque is awarded to the student that the class feels is not only the best technician, but also shows the utmost respect for fellow students and instructors, is not afraid to step forward and mentor or tutor a struggling student, and always shows integrity and pride in his work. The graduating class 319 has chosen as their top technician Benjamin Jasger. Our next award is the Federal Aviation Administration Award. At the FAA, everything they do, their entire mission is to provide the safest, most efficient aerospace system in the world. They continuously strive to improve the safety and efficiency of flights in this country. Safety is their passion, excellence is their promise, people are their strength, integrity is their cornerstone. The FAA employees perform their duties with honesty, moral soundness, and with the high, highest level of ethics. The student recipient of the FAA award embodies all of these values. Today we are proud to announce this distinguished award goes to Arma Kefa.
At this time, I'll turn the mic back to Mr. Ives. Thank you, Kay, and congratulations to everyone. NAA's New England campus has been in operation since 1932. As we celebrate our illustrious history, we will be awarding a valedictorian at each graduation. It is traditional that each valedictorian be announced ahead of ceremony and asked to speak, but because of the rigors of our program, to the very end, the highest GPA was not known until the very last day of class. At this time, we'd like to recognize the students in the running for valedictorian. These students achieved the highest GPAs in the Aviation Maintenance Technology course. The nominees are Jenshin Bendu, Armin Kaifa, and Ian Kimmel. All of our valedictorian candidates deserve recognition for their hard work, dedication, and perseverance. That said, one student rose above the rest, achieving the highest GPA. Today's valedictorian is Ian Kimmel. Thank you and sincere congratulations to each of you. As each student well knows, we consistently instill the importance of honesty, integrity, and human factors awareness in aviation. As you transition into the workplace, please remember that remaining focused on the job at hand is of the utmost importance. The work of an aircraft mechanic is critical and the public relies on us every day to do the right things and ensure safe aircraft. Always be aware of your surroundings and follow written policies and procedures to the letter while keeping safety as your most important task. Losing focus and becoming distracted can very easily result in costly or even catastrophic outcomes. As a pledge to maintain safety and do the right thing, always, we will now join together in a recitation of the Mechanics' Creed. Students, please rise and remain standing as we recite the Creed in preparation for the turning of the tassels. Please read along with me. And now the moment you've all been waiting for, the turning of the tassel is a significant moment in the graduation ceremony. It symbolizes moving from candidate to graduate. It is the last act you will perform as NAA students. It is the final instruction we have for you to follow. Each of us are lifelong learners, but in this moment, you become something more. You become graduates, ready to take on the world. Now I ask you, graduating class of August 2020, turn your tassels from right to left. We at National Aviation Academy are dedicated to our mission of preparing students for employment in the aviation industry. As graduates, today is a new beginning. As you start your careers, be assured of the prosperous futures that await you. Now enjoy yourselves, celebrate your success with family and friends. Thank you.